Hi guys, I'm King Jupiter, and I wanted to make a quick video on something I find really useful for DMing. Um, here we go. It's uh, this thing here on the page. Um, stat trackers. It was a Kickstarter I backed a while back, and uh, you can still buy these at this link, to, uh, which I'll put in the description below, uh, topdoggames.net. It might take a while to get to you, but I thought this seemed like a really neat idea, and uh, so I bought it. And here it is. Comes in this box. Um, pretty neat, well made. Stat trackers. Uh, so this is really great if you're a DM. Uh, yeah, not so much if you're a player, I don't think, but uh, I think most players would enjoy this, uh, at least for themselves. So it comes in this box. Let me see if I can get a good... Uh, so you can see that it's organized fairly nicely. You have different tabs for chromatic and metallic dragons, which I thought was really clever. Uh, let me pull these out. It actually might be better for you. So there's chromatic, focus, damn it. Chromatic, metal, uh, there's D. Uh, let's see, what's another interesting one? So it stops at XYZ, then it goes to animals. It follows basically the exact same uh, rendition as the monster manual, but it also has blanks. This one isn't blank, but these are all my players in my game, as I can show you here. So there's, uh, there's a couple. So let's take this one, for example. Uh, so it gives you all the little places you can write your stuff and a little space for notes and then it has this on the other side and focus and you get the idea so the idea of this is say this box is my monster is my um, game master screen my DM screen and I say okay go ahead and roll initiative so let's say Jethro here rolls a uh, I don't know a 10 and, and Adelaide here rolls a 20. 20 goes first, so we would put 20 here. Ah, nope. <laughs> we'd put 20, say, here, and we'd put Jethro over here. Uh, for me, I'm reading right to left, but for my players, it's going to be left to right, so it makes more sense for them. Um, the bending is a little... I would have left a little bit more room and made them a little weighted, maybe, but otherwise, I, I don't really know how you would do that structurally, honestly, so... I can't really complain. Um, so now I have my two players, and I this works since I have all the other since I have all the other things in the monster manual here. I can basically strone this across my DM screen, and I have the order. And uh, let's take a, let's take a metallic dragon to give you an example of this. This is just the first one. It's an ancient brass dragon. So let's say this one's unbent because I haven't even pulled it out yet. Bend, crease. And then there's two creases, so you're going to crease again. Not like you need me to tell you that, but nonetheless. Then here is, in condensed form, basically, an ancient brass dragon. This is for 5e, by the way. It's not for any other edition. Uh, there is that. It has all his little abilities all laid out for you. And obviously it doesn't all fit there, so you also have this back part. If you forget sort of what stuff it does you can always look at the back and kind of see exactly what the creature can do and like the rest of them let's say the brass dragon rolled a one i don't know uh there you go you got all your stuff right here in a line really nice so i would recommend them here is their kickstarter i don't oh i can pre-order them hmm. i didn't even see that button oh it just takes you to the same link so here, you can go to their site, and you can go to shop. I know, this is my first time doing this, but I imagine. Empty box and tabs, uh, complete set, which is what I got, uh, and then 50 blank characters. If you get a complete set, it comes with some blank monsters and some blank character trackers. So here in the back, I have this this plastic, un, uh, this plastic wrapped, unopened monster tracker, and it has, here's how it looks. It has the spot for the monster, it's, a, it's AC, HP, it's speed, it's attacks, and then all the stuff about them. And then for players, it looks a little different. It looks um, a little more detailed. 
uh, like you would see on the normal on the normal character sheet. So yeah, I just wanted to I wanted to give these guys I don't know. I wanted to give these guys a video because I think these are really really cool. They aren't that expensive, honestly. I think I paid sixty dollars to back this, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I honestly didn't use them as much as I thought I would, but I think that's. Uh, more of a, I haven't really <laughs> had my party get into much combat recently, and not so much a, they're not a good quality product. But I really like them. I think they're uh, definitely worth your time to at least take a look at, pre-order them if you can. Uh, I think it's, yeah, there's topdogs.net. I'll throw that in the description below. So, yeah, would recommend. Um, if you have a chance, I'd say uh, just check them out. Oh, also, they have one other thing. They had 10 things that they sent in. So like here, A Holy Night. Um, sort of like Seven Deadly Sins, the anime from Netflix. Um, it's basically like a normal knight that has the smite ability. Um, these are all like sent in characters. So I got the, the Holy Knight, Witch Hunter. Uh, I don't think any of the, I don't think I have the other ones. I might have actually sorted them in. I think I actually, I did sort them in. So they have 10, you know, unique ones too. And, I guess, I suppose, since they're unique to the Kickstarter, you can't get them anywhere else. So there's that too. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick a quick look at these. They're nice. I can definitely feel the quality. It's heavy, nice cardstock. Uh, the box is nice. The, the organizational system, I didn't know was coming with it, and it's really nice to have that too. Uh, so yeah, would recommend. I'd say give them a look if you have a second. See you later.